up biker bros this is the gen z biker here with road dirt and i'm here today on my left i have a 1999 Softail Standard. To my right, I have the all new 2020 Softail Standard, and I'm here today to put them head to head and show you the differences between the two of them and why you should maybe buy the new versus the old or the old versus the new. Let's get into it. Now, I'm here today with Mark Hall, the owner of this beautiful 99 Softail Standard. Mark is an avid Harley Davidson enthusiast, he actually works in the dealership setting and he actually works on his own bike as well. Mark, what is your top three reasons why someone might want to look at buying the new 2020 Softail Standard as opposed to an older Softail like yours? So, easily first thing is going to be reliability. Uh, when it comes to a newer 2020 compared to the older 99s, you have a lot less maintenance that you have to worry about right off the bat. Um, with like a lot of the older Evos, such as this one, it leaks oil. That's just a given. You'll never have that issue with one of the new Softails. Okay. And speaking on behalf of the reliability and some of the other factors that come into play on the 2020 Softail Standard, you've got a lot of modern components. It is outfitted with the new Milwaukee 8 107 engine. It also has an adjustable rear monoshock suspension. So what is your second point, Mark? Oh, with you going through and talking about that shock, honestly, it's comfort. I'd rather go through and take the comfort of one of the newer ones, but there's just something about this old girl that gets me every time. Awesome. Now, what is your third point, Mark? Really, it comes down to ease of access to parts. Nowadays, you're going through and you're starting to find it harder and harder to get parts for the older bikes compared to the newer ones where you can walk into any local dealership and they'll have them right on the shelves. With this, I got to order stuff and sometimes that could take months, especially if I'm trying to find something that's factory original. Especially during COVID, um, everything that's going on now is making it a lot harder to get the parts that you need for your motorcycle. For my own personal bike, I have honestly been waiting almost over a month just for a chain. For that matter, on the 2020 Softail Standard, um, they have a whole list of PNA parts and accessories for this bike. Um, but what do you say? I think I should maybe hop on his bike, take it for a quick spin, and then we'll hop on the 2020 Softail Standard, and I'll also show you some of the nitty gritty specs on that bike. Let's go for a ride, guys. So now we are on the 2020 Softail Standard. We took um, Mark's 1999 Softail Standard for a quick spin so I know what I can compare this bike to. And really, this bike is just so, so impressive. So the 2020 Softail Standard is outfitted with the Milwaukee 8 107 engine, which honestly provides us with plenty of power. Um, especially in comparison to that 99 Softail standard that we just saw from Mark. A really awesome bike that he has, but it definitely just lacks the power and maneuverability that we see here on um, this Softail standard. The Softail standard is outfitted with a six-speed transmission, which definitely provides you with a lot more um, highway capabilities in comparison to you know your sports are 48 where at around 65 75 miles an hour um, in your in your last gear you feel like you got a bad case of arthritis and your hands are about to shake off um, whereas this 85 90 miles an hour even you know triple digits you're at a really comfortable pace and you don't necessarily feel like you're about to fly off of the back of the bike. In terms of the comfortability of this bike, that was one of the big features that Mark kind of mentioned that he was jealous of comparing it to his 99 standard. 
Um, the Softail Standard is outfitted with a show of front suspension and a adjustable rear monoshock suspension, which provides for a very comfortable ride, especially when going over and absorbing bumps. And you do get a really great uh, click when you shift up and down on this bike. I like the feedback that the bike gives you when you are up shifting and down shifting. And once again, speaking on behalf of the maneuverability and comfortability of this bike, up front we do have a 16 inch chrome spoked um, front wheel, which does provide you with somewhat more of that kind of classic bobber-esque type look. Um, but that does also add to the maneuverability of this bike and that you can kind of toss it around corners um, a little bit better uh, than some of the older uh, Softails in Harley's previous lineups. How does the Softail standard make me feel as a rider? You know, being a younger motorcycle rider, I feel like I'm a part of something bigger. I'm not just that kid that is riding you know, the $2,500 Kawasaki that I got on Facebook Marketplace. I'm now a part of the Harley Davidson motorcycle riding group. You know, it comes in at a more entry level price. You can potentially get a bike like this that's MSRP is I think $13.6. Um, some people are making, you know, $250 payments on a bike like this. So yeah, maybe you could spend two grand and get an older Harley Davidson soft tail, but you're not getting the 107 or the modern day reliability of this bike. Personally, I love the idea of customizing a motorcycle and making it my own. That's the type of person that I am. I could see this being a great blank slate for someone like myself maybe wanting to get into the soft tail lineup that doesn't maybe have the budget to buy you know your your low rider s or even some of the maybe performance oriented baggers one thing to keep in mind is if you're a motorcyclist that typically enjoys riding with a backpack on you you've got to keep in mind that wearing a heavy backpack for a significant amount of time while you're riding will likely cause you to have a little bit of tingles in your fingertips and hands while riding for you know any more than an hour and a half or sometimes even an hour dependent on the rider but man oh man as someone coming from a sport bike background I could really get used to the mid-level controls on the soft tail standard and I could totally see myself making a bike like this my own. But anyways biker bros, this is Gen Z Biker from Road Dirt, Ride Life.